Good afternoon, everyone. Vicar Jesse here from Bethlehem Lutheran Church, here with a daily message of encouragement that comes from Scripture. This week, we've been talking about lamenting and blessing God. Lamenting is a uniquely Christian way to complain to God. We turn to God, we present our complaint, we ask for help, and then we trust God. Blessing God is giving him the glory, the worship, the praise, and thanks that he's deserving of because he's blessed our lives. Today is a lament day. And you can't talk about laments without talking about Job. The book of Job is filled with lamenting. Job is in so much pain and has complaints for God. I'm going to read to you from Job 10. I loathe my life. I will give free utterance to my complaint. I will speak in bitterness of my soul. I will say to God, do not condemn me. Let me know why you contend against me. Does it seem good to you to oppress, to despise the work of your hands, and favor the designs of the wicked? Have you eyes of flesh? Do you see as man sees? Are your days as the days of man, or your years as the man's years, that you seek out my iniquity? And search for my sin although you know that I am not guilty and there is none to deliver out of your hands your hands fashioned and made me and now you have destroyed me altogether remember that you have made me like clay and will you return me to the to the dust did you not pour me out like milk and curdle me like cheese you clothed me with skins and flesh and knit me together with bones and sinew. You have granted me life and steadfast love, and your care has preserved my spirit. Yet these things you hid in your heart. I know that this was your purpose. If I sin, you watch me, and do not acquit me of my iniquity. If I am guilty, woe to me. If I am in the right, I cannot lift up my head, for I am filled with disgrace and look on my affliction. And were my head lifted up, you would hunt me like a lion, and again work wonders against me. You renew your witness against me, and increase your vexation towards me. You bring fresh troops against me. Why did you bring me out of the womb? Would that I died before an eye had seen me, and were as though I had not been carried from the womb to the grave. Are not my days few? Then cease and leave me alone, that I may find a little cheer before I go, and I shall not return to the land of darkness and deep shadow, the land of gloom like thick darkness, like deep shadow without any order, where light is as thick darkness. Job is filled with so much pain. He's lost everything. His goods his home, his family. And he cries out to God in that pain, bringing his complaint before God. But we hear these words later in Job, in Job chapter 19. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and at the last he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been thus destroyed, yet my flesh I shall see God whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. My heart faints within me. Job, in the midst of this pain, speaks of his hope, his trust in God. That's true lament. Job brings his complaint to God. He asks for God to help him, and then trusts God, trusts in the resurrection, knows that he will see his Redeemer in the flesh, and his heart will faint within him. We can lament like Job. There are days when things go terribly. There are days that hurt, and the pain seems unending. But Job's promise is the same promise we have. 
that we'll see our Redeemer in the flesh. We will be with God for eternity because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. Today we lament. Tomorrow we will bless God. Hopefully you found some comfort in these words, some reassurance. If there's anything we can do for you at Bethlehem Lutheran Church, please feel free to reach out to us via email at office at blcdelmar.com. Or you can reach me directly at wilson at blcdelmar.com. As always, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.